Hello folks, this is Ted White and today I'm going to show you how to create a water ripples video in text effect in CapCut PC like you see here. Let's check it out. All right, folks, so right off the bat here, I'm just going to let you know that this water ripples effect in my version of CapCut is a pro feature. So it's more than likely the same in yours. So just keep that in mind, just letting you know. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and go to the left side of the screen here where it says library. I'm going to click on that. And from there, I'm going to go to the search bar and I'm going to type in black screen and then select enter. OK, and then from there, I'm going to click the clip that doesn't have a time on it. So there's no limit. So I'm going to click on it, hold down, drag it down to the timeline. OK, from there, I'm going to click on the edge of the black screen clip and hold it and drag it to 11 seconds because that's how long my video clip is going to be somewhere around that time. And then I'm going to go to text and I'm going to click on the text tab and then I'm going to click on the blue circle, which will add the text to the track. I'm going to do the same thing with this. So I'm going to click on the edge of the text box, hold it down and drag it so that it goes to the same size as the black screen, which you can see by this blue vertical line. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to text here. Make sure the text box is highlighted. I'm going to go up to text and then basic and then default text. I'm actually going to change it to water because the video that I'm going to put inside the text is going to be a waterfall. And then I'm going to go to font system. I'm going to search for S E Q U E L. Press enter. Okay. It's going to come up. I'm going to click on it. All right. There we go. It is up. Okay. I'm going to make this bigger. So I'm going to click on it and then you can make it, you can expand it by clicking on these corners here or the sides and widening it out. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to click on this, hold down and drag it so that it gets bigger. And then I will put it up a little bit and make it bigger. So I'm going to click on the corner, make it a little bigger and put it right about here. So it's somewhere in the middle of the screen. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is click off that. I'm going to click and hold here uh, on the timeline. And then I'm going to drag so that it drags over the black screen clip as well as the text box. Okay. And then I'm going to release and then I'm going to right click on either or and select create compound clip. Okay. So our compound clip is now created. The next thing we will do is we will go to media and then underneath media there's import and then we select import. Okay. And then you just select the, you find the video clip in which you need to bring into the text. So I am going to choose this clip right here and open. From there, I'm going to click on this, hold down and drag it down to the timeline. Release. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the compound clip. I'm going to click on the edge of it. And then I'm going to hold down and bring it over until I see the blue vertical line. So now it's the same size as the video clip. I'm going to release. Okay, perfect. That's what I want. I'm going to click on the video clip. I'm going to reduce. I'm, I'll go to audio here. I'll do it this way and reduce the volume so that it's not there's no volume. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I will go back here to video and then under video there's basic and then we're going to scroll down to blend. We're going to expand it and then I'm going to move myself here because I'll be in the way. You go down to mode default and then you're going to go down to multiply. Okay. 
So now we have multiply. Now the video is inside the text. And what we can do when the vi video is highlighted here, that means we can actually move the, vi we're moving the video because this is the video. This square here is the, this rectangle, I should say, is the video. Okay. So we can move it. You could resize it if you want, make it smaller, you know, do what you need to do to, to put, um, to get whatever you need within the text. Okay. So I think I'm pretty good here. It's a waterfall and we'll see lots of action right here. I'm just going to quickly play it. And yeah, we, there's lots of movement in this clip. So you can definitely tell that's a video. That's no picture. Okay. So I'm just going to bring it to the beginning. I'm going to click off of it. I'm pleased with that. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to effects and this is where the pro feature comes in. So it's going to be effects. And then there's video effects. So favorites, video effects, body effects. So it's video effects. And then we're just going to go down until we see distortion. Okay. So distortion is right here. So we're going to click on that. And then from there, we're going to scroll down until we see water ripples. And maybe I missed it. Just hold on. There it is. Yeah, I missed it. My apologies. There it is. Okay. So what I'm going to do is before I do anything, I forgot to one step. So I'm going to, what you're going to want to do before you bring the effect in is you're going to want to click off of this and then you're going to want to click, hold, drag over these two. So the compound clip and the video clip and then you're going to want to right click on one of them and click create compound clip my apologies for that folks okay so water ripples is right here what you're going to want to do is click on it hold down drag and drop it right into the center of the compound clip okay boom this is what we want so from there you can just do certain things like vertical. Uh, you can move it like this, okay? And it just either moves it further away or closer to the actual text, okay? So I'm gonna go something like maybe this. This looks good. And then you can just twist, which basically gets rid of the waves or makes them more, you know, more wavy. So, so, uh, you have that option there and then you can just mess around with the size, uh, mess around with all kinds of stuff. Anyway, I'm going to play this for you and let's check it out here. Okay. So this is pretty cool. This looks fantastic. So that's how you make a video in text water ripples effect i hope you enjoyed this tutorial folks i hope you it helped you out and i hope you have a great day thanks a lot bye bye